Hello everyone and welcome to Local Route Productions coverage of the Lake Chabot New Year's Classic 2019. This is the final part in our series of videos here. The final nine holes of the third round of this weekend's events and man, it gets dramatic out there. I know you guys are cold, you're very damp, you don't have any towels left in the bag. Same goes for our card here, of course. We've got the champ, Greg Barsby, leading the way, but he's got company up there. Yeah, hot on his heels, we've got Scooter Bailey, Andrew Bailey, who's just a few strokes behind him. Mike Sale faltered a little bit, but he's still in the running there. Along with Brady Ock, uh, both those guys are tied at three down. Uh, going into this final nine holes. Yeah, we welcomed Brady to the card in the last video, and uh, he kept pretty consistent and also had a smile out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we'll to see. We'll test today. Do we have smiles? Really, the storm of the year um, that these guys are playing in. A proper slog for all of them, I'm sure. Apart from the drone footage, I want y'all to watch these conditions because it is going to get rowdy. All right, getting started on hole 10, you'll see we're just a little shy of 300 feet. There is OB on the right. You can see the white stakes outlining that. Just a little shot, but you gotta be precise. Barsby leaving this one out to the left. It needs a skip and it's not gonna get it on that wet grass. And sail going for the any route and again joins Barsby it looks like yeah but better to be safe on the left hand side than than OB I guess and the last thing you'd want is that hyzer just carrying you over to the OB and mm -hmm. none of these guys are about to do that no well we have one more thrower that's right yeah Brady okay giving, cool giving this one a little bit more height and he will get the skip went and for it yeah a little deep but Got it pretty well. And yeah, nice little upshot there from Scooter. Getting up right near the basket. Every putt's tricky here, so these guys are likely going to lay up in this wind and not test that OB behind the basket and down that hill. Barsby might be running this one, though. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> caught a little bit of metal, but just short. Yep. And Brady. Oh, Ock was fairly deep. About a 30-foot putt there. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> Showing the camera some love. Yeah. Thanks, Brady. Did he run that or not? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I love the head shakes and the looks from uh, Barsby over this final 18. He's, he's not liking these conditions. And who would? Yeah, so it looks like everyone will par out on this one. And no change in the scores. Moving on to hole number 11. A par three, about 300 feet, slightly uphill. Baskets tucked in right next to this outhouse and behind these trees. This one you're looking at like a high righty hyzer. Just to, you want to tuck it in there and well, hopefully some, miss the trees, right? There's some trees in the way. So I think, yeah, it's you're kind of right. I think you got to keep it low though. Right. You got you to keep it low though. There are That's some trees true. there. There's some overhanging branches there. And this one, wow, Ooh. it's getting carried away. Flips a little bit, lets the wind take it. Oh, it sails right over the line there. Sorry for the... No, I, I, I forbid it. Okay. There will be no more sail puns. All right, fair enough. Nope. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you got to keep me in check. That's a nice shot from Mock. That's going to be ooh, a bit of a bit more of a skip than he liked, but that's going to be uh, putting. Yeah, just maintaining some control off the tee pad is going to be huge for these guys mm -hmm. finishing up this tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Barsby, not quite enough to get there. Let's see if I can put this one in. I'm waiting for the bank shot here, honestly. Like, let's... Well, maybe it's a little too far from the building. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see that, to be honest. The outhouse does make it interesting. And in fact, Sale was like in a rat's nest there, kind of like underneath the house. He, got, he gave himself a little bit of relief. He couldn't really take a stance there. So Yeah, hopefully he didn't get any gnaw marks on his uh, putter there. Yeah. 
Yeah, those uh, Lake Chabot rats can be ugly, man. <laughs> hey, watch out. They'll test your plastic. <laughs> yeah. So hole 12, we're going to stretch it out here a little bit. Looks like you got a lot of open space on this 450 footer. It's a par three though. We got a little bit of an elevated basket there. You see it on the stump. Always got to have your stump hole. A green is in play. Any other OBs there, John? There's OB on the right, not behind the basket. Yeah, so there's the OB on the right, which is kind of the property line, and Barsby is heading right for it. Well, come on, but fade on out. Oh, he hits a tree and drops just short of the OB line. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, no. Sale oh. finds different trees in two meters. Oh. <laughs> two meters and OB. Um, so he'll take it from the drop zone. You can see it right there. And Scooter playing the nice safe drive with his destroyer again. We talked about it. You can see you can see it on the stamp, too. It's, mm -hmm. it's obvious. Same driver every time. Brady taking this one really high. But, yeah, that's a good... I think he kind of laid up there, wanted to stay short of the green and give himself a nice approach look. Sail was thrown from a drop zone there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just stays safe there on the left side. Hawk is going to throw this one a little bit right, and it looks like the wind kind of drives it down. Scooter with a nice run. Oh, and a rail play. Bit of a dance on top of that yeah, one there. That I like sweet. that. Yeah. I like that. Style points. Ooh, that one is getting away from Barsby and slides across the green safe. Yeah, tough shape to that one. I'm sure he didn't picture it that way, but it's going to happen today. Yeah, I would expect all these guys to lay up here. Or maybe not. Kind of a half run at it. Brady laying up. And Sale still kind of a tester distance in this wind. Uh, he don't care. No, no problem. So I think this was our first chance to see the scores change a little bit, mm -hmm. right? That's right. And it looks like Scooter will get the par, and Barsby will take a bogey. So the score gets a little closer, a little tighter here. Yeah. So we're kind of watching a couple head-to-head -head battles here, it feels like. We want to mm -hmm. see what happens between Barsby and Bailey, and then Sale and Hawk. Of course, you never know. I mean, one hole can change all of that, and someone could just go like three cards back in their score. But that's right. That's the kind of things I pull sometimes. Hole 13, par three, 426 feet across a valley. No OB in play, really. But there is plenty of wind and rain right now, and it looks like that very stable destroyer will just continue to turn over for Scooter and not come back. Wow, yeah, the wind looks intense. Got the oh, rain yeah. sheeting up a little bit. Yeah, this one is up there. He ends up on top of the ridge. OB there. up there? Nope, no. Nope. You just got to play out. There you go, Walk. Find that one little dry spot. Oh, it got wet again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that? You're like sitting there working at that one little spot where you know you're going to put your fingers and then just a couple drops ruin it. Yep, absolutely. But this looks like a pretty nice drive, actually. Went to it really high, but with a lot of hyzer, and it just kind of got there. Yeah. And Sale tries the Annie shot. Not too bad, actually. He's out in the open, and all you got to do is throw it into that hillside. And for the record, we are seeing some smiles out there. So yes. credit to these players. That's some resilience to yeah. have fun. Oh, Barsby skips past the basket there, and I'll have another putt at it. Scooter, maybe getting this one a little bit high and sticks on the hillside, so oh, that helps. a little putt. Sail, throwing uphill, and that one will hyzer out, giving him quite a little tester putt. Oh, yeah, he's like, stay. 
I think he said that's still too far. <laughs> <laughs> There's no safety yeah. in this world. Oh, nice run by Barsby. Barsby stayed pretty aggressive all weekend. Yeah. He still wants to try to sneak one in there when he can. And, you know, you got to respect that effort. Although I think sometimes he did end up paying for it a little bit. Oh, and Sale will pay for that one with a roll. That's a tough lie. And now he's got a branch to contend with. Oh, and he hits the cage, rolls down. Nice move by Barsby to get out of the way of that one. But that'll be another putt. My sympathies to you, Mr. Sale. That is a oh. hmm. little, like little putt out of turn, maybe just a little confusion on the game there. I think it's hard to tell what's going on with all that noise and the wind and everything and rain. Sale will stick it next to the basket, and he's happy. It's Yeah, you, you pump your fist when it does <laughs> not roll yet again. And... As Scooter will do, he just steps up and putts. He does not wait. Mm. He does not think about it. He just gets up there and does it. Brady with the lone par there, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so he gains a stroke on the card. Barsby will take a bogey. Sale will take a triple. And on to hole 14. Par three, you kind of got two ways to go. You can go around the right-hand side. That's quite a throw. Or you can go down the middle and deal with these trees. Uh, the basket's down there just short of that green. And again, not much OB other than the green in play. Still a, a technical hole. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, it demands the, the precise shot there, doesn't it? We'll yeah, see absolutely. what old PJ Pants has here. <laughs> oh, he leaves it outright, but... It's got a lot on it, and that'll land safe. Yeah, good open space. I think all these guys are opting for that. I feel yeah. like that makes some pretty good sense in these conditions. I think there's kind of a headwind coming at them, and you don't want to mess with the... Oh, look at those flags. I don't know if it's a headwind. It's like to right to left. A little cross, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. which actually makes the shot pretty tricky, what they're trying to do here. They're really wanting to get that push. Yeah. There you go. Barsby with the good technical skills. Fanning left with his right hand, you see, after he the did. throw. He, he did. He did uh, put in the proper effort there after the throw, which I appreciate. And Sale not quite putting in the same effort, I noticed. He's just standing there after the throw. And we'll see what the discs did, you know. <laughs> I think Barsby is actually furthest from the basket here, though, but a very nice upshot. Yeah, good recovery. And sail. And that should be... Well, I would normally say that that's a par, but who knows? You got driving rain and wind. Mm, looks like Scooter put himself a little farther out than he might want. Yeah, a nice run by Ock. <laughs> Good putt by Sale. Oh, <laughs> He's stoked. I feel that. I feel he just that. just made a 15-footer. <laughs> yeah. At this point in the round, I'm, like, thinking about what amazing dinner I'm going to have to just, like, try to wipe all this away. Just mm -hmm. you clean up, you get a nice hot meal, and you just, like, take a breath after all this. Yeah, people were pretty excited to get into the clubhouse after this round. <laughs> and on to hole 15. 330 feet. You got a basket tucked into the trees on the right. Uh, kind of on a hillside. And again, not much OB in play. No, no OB that any of these guys can reach from here. So, wondered if we are going to see them try to flick it or try to flip it over a little more yeah I think the flicks the play um, but that one gets a good skip and and needs to wipe off his lens <laughs> <laughs> and here we go a scooter throwing a nice little shot and that will skip down the hill parks and it huck lab destroyer for the win you know not too many birds to be had out here in these conditions so that's a big win, especially. 
considering that Barsby's going to have a very difficult putt from there. Mm, I, I'm so excited to see these final holes with these mm -hmm. two leaders on the card. Two-stroke difference. We were looking at a potential birdie versus a par here. Let's see if Barsby can make this one and keep his two-stroke lead. Oh, he just leaves it a little bit left. Sail, kind of a layup there, and you see Scooter it's, will put it in for the birdie. Nice birdie. Yeah, you can tell right there the short putts are tough. Mm -hmm. All putts are tough, so coming away with the birdie is real nice. Mm -hmm. And now we have a one-stroke difference here between our one mm -hmm. and two on the card. And three holes remain. I'm rooting for excitement, and <laughs> excitement is winning right now. So. I would never, ever root against the champ, but... I do love me some scooter. That's what it's, it's root yeah. for excitement. Yeah, root right? for excitement. You're right. Hole 16, par three. Again, you got to get into these trees. Kind of a little bit of a lefty shot here. 358 feet, so a bit longer. You got a nice open space to work with to the left, but driving rain and wind. And that one actually ends up pretty nice. I think that's pretty good. The one stroke difference between Barsby and Bailey. Can't wait to see how these last three holes go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Brady ending up out there to the left. And I think he's got a pretty good lead on sale at this point. And let's see what Barsby does here. Will he go for it? I yeah. notice he's only wearing one of his two hoods currently. Yeah. <laughs> what does it all mean? I think he's been switching between outfits to keep dry. Costume changes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a smart move. It's glamorous. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think the fans at home appreciate it. And Seal ends up a little short and then now hits a tree. So he's going to probably end up with a bogey on this one. We got Brady landing that one at the basket, but a skips pass. And that's going to be a putt that's probably impossible to make in these conditions. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait and see here. And this is an important one for Barsby. Nice, calm approach. Yeah, that's good. And same thing for Bailey. He's really got to put this one close. At this point, you know, you just got to get the disc as close to the basket as possible so you don't give yourself a chance to miss that putt. Boring golf would be the best golf right now, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And Brady with a not very boring putt. Mm, just a little low. Yeah, man, these guys are wet at this point. I mean... I doubt anyone's got a dry towel. You can see the bit of the dye on that uh, destroyer, which now Bailey is keeping in the putter pocket of his, uh, what is that, a dynamic disc bag? Yeah. Not sure. Yeah, there's some point where you're just like, well, it's all wet from here on out. <laughs> yeah. Right? Going into these last two holes, these are a couple big ones. It's all actually put on the hole 18 uh, regular golf course, which is uh, one of the longest ones, right? Is it a par five or six? Longest hole west of the Mississippi is what they west call it. West of the Mississippi. All right. And throwing into a straight headwind here, Bailey will leave it low to be safe, but it doesn't get a skip and just kind of sticks there. Barsby trying to get a grip on his disc here. And doing what he can. I don't see a name and number on that disc. I hope it stays in bounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always name and number. And that one is going to end up a bit high, but honestly, that's just fine if you're in the center of the fairway here. Yeah, you do the work and you're on the fairway. Yeah, Counts Brady determined and throws a roller. And doesn't get that far, but that's still farther than anybody else did. And when you got a straight headwind, that's that's a bit of distance right there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. It's a <laughs> yeah, it looks like the wind picked up extra special there for sale. And this one will get driven down and to the left, to the right there actually from this camera. But stays safe. That's good. Yeah, good. That's, but that's a nice drive from Scooter. Yeah, he did some good work on that one after leaving the first drive shorter than he wanted, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. See what kind of work Sale can do to get back up that hill. Let's see, 
Barsby can do. He really needs to get close to the basket here. Keeps it low. And, ooh, a nice skip, but a roll down. And that could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Just kind of enough to subtract the skip out afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brady is parked and looks like he's going to birdie this one. Mr. Ock, well done, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scooter needed to get... Maybe he needed to get a little closer there on that one. I know, here with this one-stroke difference, like, yeah. is he going for it more? And, you know, how's Barsby looking to approach it as well? It's it's pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Barsby's got to be running this one. Or not. And Scooter needs to make this. Mm, front of basket hurts, but oh well. Tough well, day he, I mean, around. he's got a headwind that he's dealing with, and you sit, you know, you leave that one high, and it can go nose up and get into all sorts of trouble on this hillside. So, yeah, I would say he putt like me on that too. Yeah. I, I mean, look how much time Barsby took on his <laughs> five foot putt. You know, that it's, is it's make the putt and shake the head, right? That's, yeah, that's kind of the standard here today. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> Looks like Bailey actually just put it out with his destroyer, which is, a, I think, a solid move. Right. <laughs> Hole 18, here we are, a par 5, 1,230 feet. A big downhill shot. You've got OB lining the right and left-hand sides, as well as the road beyond the basket. And you'll see the basket come into view there on the right-hand side on that little shelf. And this is quite a hole. We're looking at, like, downhill, easy... 80, 100 feet, right? And then back up probably another 20 or 30. Um, More than that. More than that on both sides, for sure. Cool. Yeah. I have problems gauging distances, <laughs> but... Well, now you can really see, like, there's something about that drone footage that I, I don't think gave you the, the true sense of, of scale here. Yeah, but now like, that we're looking down, just, like, right from where they're driving, it is... It's a lot. Yeah, and Brady gets a good amount of distance on that one and stays just safe on the left-hand side. Barsby trying to get the grip. Now, if any of these righties throw and flip it too hard to the right, oh. they're looking at OB potentially. Yep, unless it rolls. Oh, God. And man. that one does. You could very not have nicely. predicted that flight slash roll. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty good spot to be in. It looked like it flipped and then just went so hard that mm -hmm. it couldn't actually keep going, right? Huh? Yeah. Ooh, it's hell. Like, might have. I Lost suspect his grip that, on that one. Yeah, yeah. I suspect that one went a little, a little off from what he was expecting. I think he just straight slipped. And this is probably the most important drive of the round here for Bailey. And he puts it nice and safe out in the middle of the fairway. John, what driver do you think he used? Hmm. Maybe this. Maybe the destroyer. What do you think? <laughs> I'm guessing. Oh, and. That looks nice, but is it going to keep going? That's actually a pretty good drive from sale there. Yeah, so you, you kind of got to get down there. You don't want to get down to the bottom of the ravine. I don't know if these guys can reach the other side here in these conditions. Barsby probably wishing that one flipped a bit more. And that goes OB on the left. Oh, and my. that is the window that Scooter needs here. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, this is a big shot. Mm hmm. And that's going a ways. That's pretty nice. Oh, it just doesn't even get across the ravine. The distance is really hard to gauge out here. You feel like maybe you got a shot at it. It's like, nope, that just mm -hmm. dropped straight out of the sky and was 200 feet shorter than I expected. Yeah, Brady's just kind of is driven into the hillside by the wind. Here's his, his next shot. Kind of a good look and at he it, though. is sliding down the hill, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he stops himself, and the disc stops, too, so that's good. That's good balance. <laughs> uh, you're not losing any points on the dismount for that one, Brady. Yeah. Well done, sir. All right, let's see how Champ can recover after that. Oh, that looks nice. I have to say, that's it's going to help. But still short. have to wonder if he's going to drop two strokes on this one hole. Here's Scooter's upshot, and 
and gets across the ravine, but also short. Now Sail throwing right into the teeth of this wind. That looks like no problem. It's like, <laughs> you're good, man. Just can it. <laughs> that was one of the just gnarlier looking shots I've ever seen someone take on camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's brutal. He ended up pretty close to the basket, though. That's nice. Dude's a fighter. Yeah. And Brady with a nice flick, and that should park. Let's see. Scooter has got to be running this one, right? <sighs> you got to make moves. No time like the present. Oh, and that one's going to be high and right. And at this point, I think if Barsby just lays up, I think he's got it by a stroke. Only on this hole does an OB just sort of get, I don't know, it's like kind of washed away <laughs> in all this, this craziness. And big cheer there from the first player to finish. These are triumphant <laughs> finishes. Well yeah. done, Mike Sale. Thanks for joining us for this. Finishing at plus three. Yeah, but parring out on this hole uh, under these conditions is pretty impressive. That Same is thing huge. for Bailey. And we got Brady. He's going to get a par. And the champ finishing with the bogey, but it doesn't matter. That is sufficient. Yeah. He's got a one-stroke lead on Bailey and finishes the tournament on top. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> this this weekend was just insane. You see, we've, we've got people putting up all sorts of different numbers. I'm sure I would have been way further down on the list had I played. Yeah. Check out Jack Lou in 13th place at plus seven. We got... Sale coming in seventh at plus three. Bitney jumping back up to fifth at plus one. Brady uh, coming in at fourth at two down. Thomas Tomaselli, our friend from round number one and the winner of last year's tournament, shot a pretty good round, ending up in third place at seven down. Andrew Bailey at eight down. And our champion, Greg Barsby, at nine down. He held on to it all weekend. He stayed out front. That's... That's impressive. It takes good, consistent play, and just you got to be out there just <laughs> battling the elements. Yeah. Oh, man. Like this, especially this slow motion footage, you can really see all the rain coming down on them. These are the days where when you have the casual round with your with your friends scheduled, you just scrap it, right? But when <laughs> totally. you sign up for the tournament, you show up, well, and you do your best. And I also think that any time you play in a tournament like this, or even just watching these guys, you're like... Man, I'm so grateful for the nice weather today. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, this is beautiful. Even if it's slightly windy, you're like, this is great. And what's what's really nice is that you see people supporting our card right here. They're mm -hmm. following them around for the round. We also had an incredible group of volunteers, mm -hmm. people running the tournament. We had our folks putting the tournament together. That's uh, you, Scott Riley, uh, Leonard as well, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of work put in, uh, especially you got to give props to our camera crew for toughing it out out there and still keeping track of what was going on out there with these guys spread all out over a huge fairway and the wind and the rain. Keenan and Andy and Mark did an amazing job out there. We were able to cover this tournament because they were mm -hmm. out there just like just going through these elements and still capturing some really solid footage for us. Absolutely. Uh, also want to throw out a lot of love to Case, new dad. He's done a great job with mm -hmm. these videos, and I wish he was here. I'm happy to be here in his place, but uh, it's kind of not the same without him. But yeah. yeah, absolutely. A special thanks to all the players for toughing it out and playing the whole round, this whole tournament, uh, the Lake Chabot staff for being there for us especially Misha at the bar. She absolutely killed it that weekend. I <laughs> also want to say thanks to our sponsor, Innova. We really appreciate that. Um, we also had a lot of event sponsors for this, so thanks for all you out there who had your, your signs on each of the tee pads. And uh, we want to say thanks to everyone who started watching these videos. We're super happy with the response. This has been a blast bringing this tournament to y'all, the Lake Chabot New Year's Classic. It was a hell of a weekend. We're so glad that we could cover it as thoroughly as we did. And, and thanks for being here with us. It's been yeah. great. Uh, I'm Joseph, here with John, and we're uh, signing off for Local Route Productions. We'll see you out there. See you out there. <laughs>